All right, so now we can install the shifter cable. Now the shifter cable is responsible for changing gears in your transmission. Now, thankfully, our engine and transmission on this engine is one big thing. And that's awesome because they're usually separate and transmissions are really complicated. So this is going to save us a whole bunch of work. So as you can tell, our transmission only has three gears, forward, neutral, and reverse. So this is going to sit in between the driver and passenger seat so the driver can access it easy. And whenever he moves this lever, what it's going to do is it's going to be connected to a cable. And at the other end, it's going to switch right here. Now, depending on that switch, I'll show you guys where the switch is hooked up to. Right above where we hooked up our gear, this is where the transmission output is. Let me see if I can get a good angle right there. So it's going to connect to that, and depending on what the driver does, this thing is going to turn into forward, neutral, or reverse. So the easiest way to probably do this is to make sure that your transmission is in rev or excuse me, neutral right now. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that your shifter gear is in look at my beautiful feet. That's forward, that's neutral, that's reverse. So go ahead and put this in neutral too. Now whenever you install it, you're not going to have to adjust everything. Everything is going to be in the proper location. So let's go ahead and actually install this piece first since this is a little bit easier. And then I'll go ahead and install the back piece on the engine. So your shifter right here is going to come with three bolts. One on this side, one on this side, and one on the back end which I guess you guys can't see. But go ahead and it's probably easiest to stick all your bolts in first. And the last one, which is a little bit longer, on this back side. Now what you need to do is you need to use these three nuts and secure it on the bottom of your frame, at least on this style of frame. So make sure you have a good grip on the top and also the bottom. And it's really easy if you're working with someone else, but it's only me right now, so I have to do this by myself. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Tighten it up. So now our hand lever is complete. Looks good, make sure that's nice and secure. Shake a little bit, looking pretty good. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and move on to the back where it connects to the engine. And by the way, even though I know, cause I already uh, put this on before that this one's adjusted properly. Whenever you need to adjust it, what you do is you put these two bolts on here and there's also a bracket like this on the back and you need to uh, turn these however tighter or looser depending on what kind of adjustments you need. But like I said, the easiest thing to do is make sure this is in neutral and make sure that your transmission is in neutral on your engine and then once you do that, it should be good. So anyways, let's go ahead and move to the back and put that on. All right, so after trying about 500 different camera angles, I finally admitted to myself that there is no way that you guys are gonna be able to see me uh, attach this once I put the big bracket on as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and explain it to you guys as best I can and it'll make sense. So this right here is where the shifter wire is supposed to be attached on your engine. This is connected right to your transmission and how this thing shifts gears is it turns. So whenever I would turn this, if I was strong enough to turn it by hand but it actually takes a lot of force, I would turn it once, it would be in forward, I would turn it in the middle, it would be in neutral and I would turn it all the way back and it would be in reverse. So the wire or the cable is actually hooked up to this thing and whenever you pull the cable, you pull it like this and then it's in forward, neutral, reverse. So again, how this thing goes on is, if you can't see, there are like little teeth in there. There you go. It slides perfectly over this and then you need to tighten it down, of course, because it, when you first put it on, it's nice and loose. You need to tighten it on by tightening this bolt and then whenever you do that it pinches together just like this and clamps down on this little nub, your transmission. So again, like I said, that's what I'm going to do right now and that's basically the only uh, two pieces that you need to install your transmission. The lever that the person pulls or the driver and this connection right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and I know you guys aren't going to be able to see but uh, anyways, that's how you do it, pretty simple. In the upcoming videos, I'll make sure to have a proper camera angle. This is the only piece that, you know, I kind of have to explain. So 
Sorry for that, but uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.